Hey guys, how's it going? Gladly here. And today I'm going to be showing you a few different places in the game where you can find some nice weapons that you don't even have to fight for. This is a great way to restock your weapon stores if you've broken or lost your weapons during your uh, adventures. Obviously there are a lot of weapons to find in this game, but I'm going to show you a few of my favorites that are both easy to get to and fairly powerful. Also, these weapons will respawn after every Blood Moon, so you can come back then for a new refill. Okay, first up, head to the Woodland Tower in the northern part of Hyrule. From here, you just want to climb this uh, skull-looking thing, I guess? I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, climb it, and on top of it, you'll see a Royal Claymore just waiting for you to grab it. Next up, head to the Gerudo Tower in the southwestern part of the world. The area we want to get to is right here. From the tower, just face north, and our target is the rock on the left. On the other side, you'll see an entrance here that's blocked by three boulders. Use your stasis power on the main boulder and then use a weapon to give it a good few whacks. Inside you'll find a cache of several different weapons, as well as some chests containing some other goodies, if you haven't been there before. The weapons include a Gerudo spear, a golden bow, a radiant shield, an Edge of Duality, and a Moonlight Scimitar. In the chest, there is an Opal, some Rupees, and some Bomb Arrows. Okay, moving along. Head to the Tabantha Tower on the western edge of the world. And we want to head up north to Kuho Mountain. From the tower, head north and float across to the other mountain. When you land, follow the rocks on your left hand side until you can see an entrance into the rocks on your right. And right in the middle, you'll see a great thunder blade. Up next, head to the Tukalo Shrine in the northeastern part of the map, in the Labyrinth. If you haven't been here before, you can float over from the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. From the shrine, head right down the stairs, jump down, and you'll see some vines which you have to burn with either fire arrows or another source of fire damage. Once the vines are gone, head up the wall and follow the straight path to the end. And there you will find what you seek. A great flame blade. For the next one, head to the central tower in the middle of Hyrule. From here, we want to go west to this ancient tree stump. I'll mark it for you here on the map. Look straight west and float over. Keep heading west. And on the right here, you'll see where we're gonna go, where the moblins and bokoblins are. You can either run or fight your way over the bridge, preferably without taking damage. But on the other side, there will be another great flame blade for you to take. And then peace out of there. Okay, let's do one more. Head to the Goretor Shrine at the northern part of the world. And where we want to go is west to the Elden Great Skeleton, which lies along the northern uh, edge of the world.
from the shrine, head west. Northwest, I guess. Also keep an eye out for ore deposits if you're into that sort of stuff. But once you get here, you'll see the giant skeleton we're going for in the distance. This area is also home to a few lionels if you continue going west from here. But anyway, once you reach the giant skeleton, great skeleton, head inside the mouth, and behind this rock will be waiting for you another great flame blade. And that's good. That was easy, right? And remember guys, you can come back to these spots after every single blood moon and find the same weapons in the same locations. Like here, where we just picked up the royal claymore. If we wait for the blood moon to pass, there it is. Inexplicably reappearing right before our eyes. Just as a bonus tip for you guys, if you ever find a Hinox snoring on the ground, if you gently land on the chest, you can actually take the weapons from its neck before it wakes up and then run away. Also, if you feel up to it, you can head to Hyrule Castle where you'll also find some more powerful weapons. But for right now, we have some new shiny weapons and about 50 new flame blades and we are finally ready to kill some chickens. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video. Subscribe for more Zelda content. Keep on fighting and until next time, leave the poor chickens alone. <laughs>